What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Vince, the Los Angeles reseller, known on Instagram as at I for Profit, at I for Profit. This is going to be a what's so video, and I want to just show you guys a couple of things that I found this week to show you guys what I like to sell, what type of things that work for me to sell on eBay. I started reselling 13 months ago, part-time, and then I went full-time up in July. I think reselling is simply a great way to earn extra money for all sorts of people. But the thing that I love about it most is that it gives me ultimate control over how I allocate my time, which has allowed me to start and grow this YouTube channel, as well as meet all kinds of new people who are also resellers. I love resellers. Subscribe to the channel. And then the most important thing, I have a young son and I really really love how I get to spend way more time with him and my wife as well. I hope everybody gets a little bit of something out of this video and I will look forward to any questions or insights down below in the comments. The first thing that I found is really small and easy for just about any type of person to pick it up and sell it. It's a small vintage, let me read the title for you guys. It's a 1976 Mattel Auto Race Electric Game Handheld. That was my title. Okay, so this thing, I picked it up at an estate sale where you could just throw stuff in a box and whatever you could fill that box with, you would pay $20. We had a larger size container, so it was 30 for us. Me and my mom went half on it, so I have $15 into all the stuff that I got from that estate sale that day. This item sold for $45 in just a couple of days with free shipping. And the reason why I put this thing first is because it has a great sell-through ratio. I'll show you guys the screenshots of how many are on the market right now versus how many have sold and shows up as a sold listing in the last 60 days. Next thing I want to show you guys, it didn't sell for a lot of money, but I just think it's so easy for pretty much any type of person to buy and flip. Easy to list, easy to ship. And it was a remote. It was a Logitech Harmony 650 Universal Remote. Emphasis on the Universal Remote. I'm noticing that um, there's a significant amount of Universal Remotes that are worth decent money. This one here sold for $22.99 with free shipping, which is usually for me about $3 to $4 after the eBay discount we get. But I'm just mentioning this because it came free with the TV that I recently bought at, an, at a yard sale, which also came with some other stuff, which I paid for $150 for altogether 48 inch TV. I'm not trying to brag or anything. I'm just trying to kind of advocate the fact that you could get really good deals even for yourself at yard sales. This was a 48 inch Samsung, which came with enough stuff that I bundled with it to be absolutely free to me after this stuff sells. So that remote was one of those things. The next item that I'm gonna talk about is a new wave infrared oven. I picked this item up from the Goodwill half off of 15, so I believe that's 750. It took a little bit to sell, but I finally got $50 plus $20 shipping. It was already in the box, it was a new open box. Um, so I didn't have to do anything to ship it but slap a label on it in the original box as well on top of that It went out USPS great easy flip um, Nothing special or hard about flipping something like that Just make sure you look it up see how much it's selling for and how long it'll take to sell which is the sell through ratio The next thing I'm going to talk about is 13 Nintendo games these video game type of things sell pretty good this one, I just kind of had thrown it into a deal. I was really interested in some boots that I had, some Red Wing boots that I sold a while back for $120. They wanted like $20 for it, but I ended up having two other things thrown into it to give me a good deal. So I ended up paying $40 for the three items, including these games, which you can see on my Venice Yard Sale Finds video. Um, Diesel jeans. Diesel jeans sell pretty good, but... For about $25 to $30 total, including shipping. So if you could source them for like one, two, or three bucks at a yard sale, that's pretty good. I don't find it worth it to pick them up anymore from the Goodwill because they're usually eight to ten dollars. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is actually right here up in one of these type of um, large mailing boxes. It's a Johnson Bros hand engraved ironstone 
six inch bowls and six inch plates. It was a set of 12 altogether. For these, I got $50 plus $20 shipping. And I believe I paid about two or three dollars a piece for them. And it took a while to sell. Not something that I would really do again, but I did make money on it. And so it's okay to experiment with stuff. I just wanted to kind of get a personal feel for selling something like plates and bowls because I always see women in the thrift store seeming like they're cleaning up on them and I'm just looking at them like man I have no idea like what's going on so I did look these up and it seemed like it'll be lucrative to sell which it was and I'm happy with the sale but I'm not happy with the shipping or the time it took to sell so I wouldn't sell something like that again. It has to probably have an amazing sell through rate or something or just an amazing profit margin. This next item was that sold is actually a pretty cool women's like um, flannel or cardigan sweater. It's vintage Adolfo for Saks. I picked it up from a yard sale for three bucks and I got $27 plus $8.50 shipping. The next item that I'm going to show, share with you guys is a pair of Nike Zooms. They sold for $45 plus $8.50 shipping. I got these from eBay as a part of a lot of shoes that was sold together. It was eight pairs of um, SBs and Zooms, I believe. But I listed all of them. I've already made my money back from them. I paid $80 with shipping included for all eight pairs. This one sold for $45, like I said before. And let's go on to the next item, which is a Elna 7000 sewing machine. Elna sewing machines sell for good money. This one was sold for parts um, for $40 plus $26 shipping. I literally picked this up from a yard sale for $3 with the um, charger, with the pedal, with an extra pedal, with the manual which is for sale separately for $20 and so easy easy sale it wasn't that easy to ship but I use these things which make shipping large items like a sewing machine a piece of cake so this is like a salvaged piece of like packaging equipment which you can find pretty much at the right day or at the right time most large stores like get their shipments in with and they they have a lot of this stuff which they don't need which they just dump in the back and it's just completely free so there was another pair of diesels that sold for $18.99 with free shipping so just goes to show that diesel does sell actually i'm sorry not free shipping it was $18.99 plus $7.88 so diesel does sell good but between $25 and $30 total with shipping included so if you could source them cheap enough just past weekend i got like three pairs for a dollar each from some yard sales it was a community yard sale inside of a mobile home park so a dollar each to make about twenty dollars i'll take that all day especially something that sells as quick as diesel jeans just don't think you could get like 30 plus shipping because you're trying to make twenty dollars off of it because you paid ten dollars at the goodwill which I used to do. Okay, you guys, the next thing I'm gonna share with you, this, it's not really about what it is, but it's about like, okay, it is about what it is, but not exactly what it is. So when I'm out looking for stuff, anything that's like in a package and especially like electronics in the package, I'll go ahead and scan it and look it up. So this turned out to be a Quell wearable pain relief neural matrix. I did have to make sure that there was not a prescription required for this and that it was okay to sell it on eBay. Be careful with medical stuff. You could get your account shut down for selling prescription stuff or there's just stuff that's restricted. So you could um, actually go look it up on eBay. This ended up selling pretty quick in just a couple of days. $40 with free shipping. Not a bad flip. I believe I paid $6 for it in the Goodwill. $5.99. This next item I'm going to share with you guys is from my $1,000 Saturday video. I found it in the morning with a whole bunch of good stuff that day. It's called $1,000 Saturday. So that day is still paying off today. And that was probably two or three months ago. Okay, so it's an All Saints Spitalfields Caldwell Leather Fitted Jacket Brown. 
you just look at the jacket you can see the leather it's really high quality i actually have a clip that i could show you guys it's really high quality leather and then the brand as well is good all saints spitalfields okay so this first item that i'm going to share with you guys that hasn't sold yet but i recently picked it up to sell um it's a rare vintage tex avery wool blend button-up shirt okay so this item is actually listed for $444 right now. I brought the price down. It was originally started at $500. Dropped the price a little bit. I'm going to continue to experiment dropping the price to see how many views it's getting. Hopefully it picks up some watchers and then I'll start knowing it's kind of in the price range it should be in. But if you look this item up, just Tex Avery Vintage, you'll see that um, there's a small niche market for this item. And people were paying up to almost a thousand dollars just for a Tex Avery lamp. So even though this item is not a lamp, there's no comps on this item. But I know this pop, this character, is popular and rare. So that is the reason why I priced it extremely high, which I just wanted to share with you guys because, uh, believe it or not, there are people that make a living off of just waiting for somebody to put something up on eBay underpriced not knowing how to read the comps correctly or the demand the market demand and they'll just grab it before any real customer that will actually pay top dollar for it ever even sees it and then they'll go ahead and put it on ebay for the correct price and then wait for that customer this next item that i'm going to talk about was also from that yard sale where you throw stuff in the box and it's only 15 dollars for what i paid so these are Nike ACG um, sweatpants. Most comps for this item is between like 40 and 60 bucks. But for some reason, some of the nicer ones had sold for $250. So I started this listing at 300 or best offer with free shipping and free returns because the price is so high. It's currently at 250. It doesn't have any watchers, 32 views. So I'll drop the price a little bit more um, from here. But sometimes you just want to be a little bit patient and make sure you're not giving something away because you need stuff like this to make up for the times when you go out and you don't really find amazing stuff. So you don't really want to miss out on extra money like that. So that's why instead of pricing this with the market, I felt like this was the ones that I had are too similar to the ones that are selling for several hundred dollars and it's nothing like all the plain ones that were selling for 40 to 60 dollars nike acg snow pants it means all condition gear be on the lookout for any nike acg especially the shoes they are a popular uh portion of the nike monopoly the next item i was actually quite surprised to find because i don't look through clothing that much especially in the thrift store it's a billy reed wool blend two button herringbone herringbone is the pattern on it it's a blazer jacket so i was kind of like nitpicking through the blazer jackets looking for the ones that look like it could be wool and then looking them up hoping to run into a pendleton but i actually found this one so now i know about it now y'all know about it we know about this and we're going to be on the lookout for these willy uh billy reeds it's listed right now for 75 or best offer plus shipping that is kind of like the going rate there. There's nothing experimental about that. And the sell through rate is not bad on these as well. So the next item I'm gonna share with you guys is Kazama skis. I picked these up at a yard sale for $5. They're vintage fiberglass skis, they're pretty old. These are not gonna sell fast, but I usually could get them for really cheap. Put them in the garage, put them for local pickup as well, hoping that I don't have to ship them. But they're listed for $99 plus shipping. And I might have even not offered shipping on the recent skis that I've listed. But I do like to pick up skis and ski gear, snow gear, especially around this time. But it actually sells year round um, because it's not always winter here in America. You know, you guys know what I mean. But yeah, skis and snow gear. So with, with us talking about skis, let me jump right into these Atomics. I found these at a thrift store. I believe I paid $20 for them. And I have them listed for $79 plus shipping. 
Nordic X Cruise 30, stuff like that, sporting goods. I'm always looking for sporting goods and hobby related stuff. That stuff usually sells for a lot of money and there's always new people getting into these hobbies and they want the best stuff to enjoy these new hobbies. This next item I'm sharing with you guys for like the fourth or fifth time. I'm making money off of these. I found another pair of these made in USA New Balances. I actually found two pairs of them last week. One of them ended up being below my standards of as far as condition to resell it. So we are going to donate those to go overseas for people in need. And this other pair is in great shape. One of the best pairs that I've ever found and it's currently listed for $75 plus shipping. These things sell really good. So stay on the lookout for those made in USA New Balances. Okay, the next item that I want to share with you guys was also a yard sale find. I paid $5 for it. It's listed for $75 plus shipping. It's an Asian Oriental chess set with soapstone pieces. Really cool find. Got it up there for $75 plus shipping. The next item I'm going to be sharing with you guys is a Polk Audio Surround Sound. This brand, I have been sleeping on. It actually sells pretty good if you just look it up in general. But this one is called a Polk Audio Surround Bar SDA. It's an instant home theater. It's very easy to hook it up. And it was originally hooked up with the TV that I purchased for myself that I got for $150. So this surround sound system came with that tv all for 150 and i got it listed right now for 89 dollars or best offer plus shipping it's also listed on the local um, apps for local pickup another thing i've already mentioned the nintendo games that i recently sold but this past weekend i got a ps2 i paid ten dollars for i got a ps3 i paid ten dollars for and I got an Xbox 360 I paid $15 for. Those sell pretty good, usually between 40 to about 80 bucks, depending on the condition for the PS3 and Xbox. I have to double check on the PS2. Again, I haven't listed it yet, but for 10 bucks, that's not a bad deal. Once you start getting to, to the 20s and 30s and 40s, that's kind of where you're not really trying to sell. You're not really trying to pick it up. But if you can get them under $15, it's usually a good idea to pick them up. Another thing that might seem like a basic item is Vans. Um, but when you could get them from yard sales for really dirt cheap, it's usually worth them to pick up. It's usually worth it to pick them up. This is a really nice pair. So I listed on the higher end. It's leather burgundy um, SK8. So that SK8, the high top ones. That's what it's, it's um, the high top bands all have that SK, the number eight, then dash HI. That's like the model or something. Those I like to pick up, especially for $5 or less. You're not going to always make a ton of money off of them, but the point is to keep your money moving. So that's also something that I like to pick up and sell if I can get it for the right price. Maybe 6 or $7 at the most depending on how clean it is and the model or like you know how nice is it now this next item i'm going to share with you guys is really cool a lot of people sleep on them it's a pentacon 29 millimeter lens i picked this up with a film camera like a camcorder i paid five dollars for the camcorder and for this i could sell both of them the camcorder only sells for about 30 bucks I wouldn't have paid $5 for that camcorder to sell it for 30 bucks. But since this lens was in the box and it was worth $40 by itself, I went ahead and picked up both of them. So I will sell the camcorder as well. And I also have this listed for $39.99 with free shipping. Okay, so this next item is a Simpson 360 digital multimeter AC power cord. So it's a it's a digital multimeter. Um, I got it listed for $65 plus shipping. I picked it up from a yard sale just this past weekend for five bucks. Thank you guys for checking out my channel. My name is Vincent Jones Smith. I'm a full-time reseller here up in Los Angeles. I'm going to continue making YouTube videos about my journey as an entrepreneur getting into real estate this year. 
hoping to be able to do the exact same thing that I'm doing now with real estate. The only thing between me and that goal is time and knowledge and a little bit of hustle. So with that being said, you guys, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We will be back.